All right, there's times I get to play with cool stuff, and then there's times I get to play with really cool stuff. This would be one of those really cool times. So this is a Kestros ZR. It is the top of the line from Macmillan for uh, specifically F-open shooting. Uh, it is designed with their Z-rail up here, which is a really low center of gravity uh, setup, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. It uh, comes in a couple different ways. Uh, it actually comes in a lot of ways, depending on how you order it. Um, very customizable. Uh, in my particular case, I shoot free recoil, so I prefer to have a nice big uh, opening here for my cheek. Uh, so I ordered one with the, uh, the adjustable cheek piece and uh, just removed it. And uh, it's just a metal plate that's under here. And then I just put a nice piece of carbon fiber tape over it just to keep dirt out. It comes with the three-piece, uh, three-way adjustable uh, uh, buttstock, and uh, it is also available with a rad. Uh, the problem is the rad would need the space in the stock up here to be inserted, and I don't shoot 300 Wisdom, so I don't really need a rad. Uh, and for me, this, this setup just works better. Uh, I would have shown it with it all mounted, but I wanted to, you know, play with this and, and kind of get a feel for it and whatnot, and so uh, I did need to take the uh, cheek weld off. Uh, it does have a, a big knurled knob over here. You can see the other screw right here. And uh, and again, lots of adjustment with this with this cheek weld. So if you like shooting that way, uh, just know that it is a, a really nice piece and really adjustable. All right, so let's talk about uh, some of the options. Obviously, depending on your stock, it will come different ways. Uh, you can order it, like I said, with or without the adjustable cheek weld or the three-piece butt stock. It does come uh, pretty standard with a three-quarter inch, really nice flat rider right here. Uh, it works really nicely in my big Seb Bigfoot, and um, it's very consistent, and, and I do like it. They are, uh, obviously this doesn't come with it, with the trigger guard, but they were kind enough. It has a full metal post in here. And uh, it came with the uh, screw that it was designed to come with. And so I was able to uh, very easily uh, use my action screws, get those uh, fit up correctly, and I was ready to go. The Z-Rail up here, uh, as you can see, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my action in this in a minute and show you how it rides on a, on a rest. But uh, the way the Z-Rail works, you can see it really lowers the center of gravity. So this is where that's going to ride on the bag. And then it brings the whole stock down below that. And uh, it really makes for a very interesting feel when you're shooting. Um, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a little less torquey. And um, I did feel like it, it rode really nicely. In fact, at the end of this video, I've got uh, a couple of slow motion shots that show uh, you know, how smoothly it really comes back on the bag. Uh, each one of these is handmade. So there is one guy that spends um, what I've been told is at least a full day uh, hand shaping and fitting the Z-Rails uh, up here. And uh, they specifically asked for obviously barrel dimensions, the action specifically, short action, long action, all of those kinds of things. It does come pillar bed. You can see uh, right there is one pillar and the other pillar is back here. And uh, I did a very, very thin skim coat of marine techs in here and uh that's just you know for my own comfort but i will say i shot it for probably a good two or three weeks before i did this and uh it was amazing with just the pillars in there uh you know in a weird way uh it, it's one of the few stocks i'd probably say if you don't really want to you don't really have to uh but uh you know betting is such a personal thing uh, and for me, I just feel more comfortable with a very, very thin skim coat in there. And I know a lot of other guys that shoot these stocks that do the same thing. So it's no, it's no reflection on Macmillan. Um, because like I said, the gun shoots, uh, incredibly well with, uh, with nothing done to it. Uh, you can see in here again, it's all handcrafted based on, uh, my particular barrel. And, uh, once I get my action screwed in here, I'll show you. Uh, color choices and patterns, uh, probably the most number of choices, uh, I've seen in any manufacturer the, I can't even remember how many different colors there are, but I mean, at least a dozen or more colors. 
and and then i mean a dozen two dozen different patterns this happens to be the flame pattern so it's going you, you basically tell them how many colors you want i told them i wanted a a three color blue so they picked a dark blue a medium blue and then a lighter blue and you can see how um, it's kind of like an ombre flame here so it's going to start dark and then it's going to work its way forward a lot of guys are you might have seen these where they've got some white mixed in i'm just not a fan of the white so i wanted just all blue uh and that's really um i mean really a great thing about these is i mean literally there there's probably a thousand ways to combine their um their colors and patterns to make something that's unique for you. Um, so I really like that. Uh, really nice uh, in terms of how it bolts up with the action. Uh, I'll show you that. And really, really smooth in here. In fact, this thing is so finely machined that these edges actually came, uh, I mean, not sharp, but I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a really clean edge. And, and these tips are just a little, you know, sharp. And so I just took some thousand grit paper and just very lightly knocked down the um, the edges just to prevent any, um, you know, accidentally cutting into something. Uh, again, not really anything that impairs any kind of function. Um, in fact, I think it speaks volumes about the machining that, that they can get to that point. Uh, but for me, I just like having just slightly, I mean, it's just ever so slightly to the point where it won't cut me anymore uh, rounded. So I'm going to get this thing bolted in and throw it uh, on my Neo and show you how it rides. So be back in a second. All right, so here it is all bolted in. You can see really nice fitment. I mean, virtually no lip going through here. Sorry about the glare. Comes through. Really consistent barrel channel. And it's that dimension all the way around. And then you can see how it comes up uh, and you can see the gap right here and on this side. And, uh, you know, if I show you from the front, you can see there's a, a plenty of gap right here. And I know it's hard to see. Um, in fact, it's almost impossible. You can see right there, uh, you can see the barrel channel underneath. So really nice you know like i said in terms of how it fits and it's obviously the same on this side you know here's here's the barrel channel so it's very consistent now a couple things about using uh one of these is you know the z rail sticks out quite a bit so let me just kind of pull it forward here all right so here it is in my neo and you can see you know it rides forward nicely uh, there's there's plenty of of room here so that you're not hitting you're not going to be hitting the angle into your front rest you know most likely I mean obviously every rest is made differently but presuming you're using a neo or something similar they give it plenty of room so that you're not banging on this uh, when you come to reset every time uh, but it is a longer you know it is a longer dimension uh, you know from here all the way up to the front because on most guns your forend probably is going to stop you know somewhere right about here so um you know depending on your arms or something like that you may need to get a small extension for uh your joystick um i have like a little five inch one that thread you know it, it basically couples right into uh the one that comes with my neo and it gives me perfect extension, you know, out to, you know, right about here where I need it. Whereas normally it's up a little further. I have to really reach. Um, so again, not a reflection on the stock necessarily. Uh, just that you do have to contend with the fact that it is a slightly longer dimension. Um, the advantage, obviously, is that you're throwing your center of gravity way up towards the end of the barrel. Um, you get really nice um, lack of torque. Uh, when you're shooting this, I find that because of lower center of gravity and everything, it really rides uh, very nicely on there. Uh, you know, there is a little more flex uh, because of the length. And, you know, again, it's just getting used to how it shoots. It will shoot a little differently than a, you know, traditional wood style stock um, that you might have. And, uh, you know, that's probably the biggest thing I'd say is it just takes a little bit of a, a learning curve to really get behind one of these. Now, obviously you can get behind it and shoot it good. You're gonna wanna practice with it to shoot it great. 
And, uh, you know, they have a, a very good team. You know, their F Open team um, is constantly a contender. Um, and for good reason. You know, the, the stock is made well. It fits well. It rides well. Uh, it shoots well. And I think that for anybody that is in the market for, um, you know, a competition style stock, uh, this is going to be hard to beat. The last thing I'll say about it is the the real, you know, to me, the biggest advantage that I could see for somebody looking at one of these on top of all the other features is the fact that if you wanted multiple stocks, it is probably the easiest way to get all your stocks exactly the same because of how they make them. And I think you will get a repeatability in these stocks that probably is a little harder um, or not as common in wood stocks. Now, I know there's some great wood stocks out there and um, they're made to very similar standards. And, and um, I'm just saying it's probably at the top of the list with several other manufacturers in terms of the ability to have a repeatable, consistent stock if you own two or three or, you know, whatever it is. So, um, if you get a chance on the line, you see somebody with one of these, you know, don't be afraid to ask them if you can try it. Uh, I think, um, a lot of people are really going to fall in love with this design and, uh, how it works. So enjoy.